Hello, all you wonderful excellenters. My name is Brian, aka Green Schmoodle, and I will be your new Saturday. <laughs> You're gonna have to forgive me. <coughs> like our lovely Thursday, I am getting over a cold, so please bear with me. I'll be representing the West Coast of the United States. West Coast? No. Sorry. I live in Southern California. I could say LA, but that's not technically correct. I'm about 30 minutes northwest in the San Fernando Valley. But that's all-inclusive in the L.A. County, so I just say I'm from L.A. It's easier. I'm about 30 minutes from Hollywood and about 20 minutes from the beach. I have to admit, I get pretty jealous when all you East Coasters and all around the world, I, uh, I see your tweets and your videos about being snowed in, and I, I get jealous. I'm not going to lie about it. I mean, who needs sun and beach and sand and waves and nature anyways. What's that? So it's not too bad. This week we're talking about love and relationships. Um, well, those two things are very general. But seeing as the videos before me have focused on more of a significant other aspect of love and relationships, that's what we'll go with. For me, there's three people that come to mind when talking about love and relationships that get to the point of, I could have been with, slash wish I could have been with, slash am with. The first one was when I was 17, and he was 33 years my elder. People always freak out when I say that. I understand somewhat, um, but for me, age is definitely just a number. Um, if you click with somebody, you click with somebody. It doesn't matter if they're the same age as you or 33 years older than you. This particular relationship was based off of connecting with somebody in a very small town where there was no one else to connect with. He would come up to the town I lived in uh, for business on the weekends, and for about seven months, we, I guess you would call it a love affair. He was definitely my first, and one of the reasons why it worked so well is because there literally was nobody else to connect to on, on that level, at least for us. And although I never said to him, I love you, I do love him in a way, I still do, but our fling never got to that point. We just kind of moved on uh, with our lives. The second one was one where I fell in love with one of my friends, and that love was not returned, at least not the way I wished it would have been. You know, it got to the point where I told him I love you, and I got the I love you, but I'm not in love with you, you know, sort of thing, which I can honestly say was probably my first heartbreak. Although at the time, I, it just, it sucked. The feeling every time you think of them, you just, your heart just wrenches. And it still does to an extent. And what makes it worse is that we are still friends, and we do still talk, and the words I love you are still exchanged, which makes it, oh, makes it so hard, because I know he loves me, but just not that way, you know, I don't ever see those feelings going away, they're just, they become smaller, I guess, by, with time, I really have no idea, and then the third would be my current love, <laughs> my boyfriend, his name is Frank, he's a cutie, We've been together for a little over two years. We just had our two-year anniversary in January, so that was pretty cool. And I've been yammering on for literally, like, I'm going to say a good 20 minutes here. <laughs> so I'll end this by saying thank you to Madison, Adam, Linda, and Aurora for choosing me for this channel because I see nothing but growth and love come out of this. And that excites me. So until next Saturday... I hope you all are well, and I hope that you all are loving each other, and most importantly, loving yourself. Because at the end of the day, the person you need to love the most is yourself. I'll be representing the West Coast of the United States. <laughs> West Coast! <laughs>